<clears throat> so now it says specific types of triangles, quadrilaterals, and polygons will always be similar. For example, because the angles and sides are congruent, all equilateral triangles are similar. For this reason, all squares are similar. So um, any equal, any triangle, you know, if, if, um, if we have, you know, all squares will be similar, there's certain things will always be similar. Uh, we can take it one step further and say that all regular polygons, the same number of sides, are similar. What a regular polygon is, a regular polygon is a polygon where you have, and I drew this horribly, regular polygon by definition, all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. So that's a regular hexagon. Or it can do a regular pentagon. So all, all regular polygons will be congruent because regular means that they have all the same sides are congruent I mean, all of the sides are congruent and all of the angles are congruent. <clears throat> so in that regard, um, I could do an, like another little hexagon down here that's regular and I can't draw it to save my life, as you guys know. Um, so on this, all your sides are going to be in proportion. You have, you know, for them to be similar, you have to have the same number of sides, which we do. You have to have all angles being congruent, which they are because they're regular, and then all the sides have to be in proportions, and they are because it's just a scale factor between the two. So any regular polygon is always in proportion. So example number three, let's take a look at this. It says ABCD is a rectangle with a length 12 and 8. UVWX is a rectangle with a length 24 and the width 8. Are these two rectangles similar. If you're not quite sure, it's always easy just to make a little drawing. So here is A, B, C, D. The length is 12 and the width is 8. Okay. And then here's my other little triangle or rectangle, U, B, W, X. And this is 24 and 18. So obviously I didn't you know, I got this wrong. The UV at WX should be larger. But the first question is, is are they similar? So do they have the same number of sides? Yes. Are the angles congruent? Yes, because since it's a rectangle, they're all 90 degree angles, right? And so then the last question is, are there sides in proportion? So in other words, is 12 over 24, because those are my corresponding sides, and 8 and 18 are my corresponding sides as well. So what I need to do is I need to multiply, cross multiply, to check to make sure that these two are equal. So I can say 24 times 8 is 192. And then I can say 12 times 18, and that's 216. So then, no, they're not in proportion because their sides, or they're not similar because their sides are not in proportion. 